Hey, you tourists, it's your boy, Domination. This is back in the base. you're going to do cyber text, baby, matter. This back, you know, this it is. Real men, Russell, fake men, Russell, real real women, Russell, fake women, Russell, press the right, preacher, preacher. Only place you ever go get it, only place you ever go get it, only place, only place, only place, only place, only place you ever go get it, only place you ever, 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 ever go get it. And right back in here in the back of the base, matter, that is back. The king of YouTube is back. So we're going to continue to have the topic, and the topic we're going to talk about today is... I'm going to tell you, it's really special for uh talk about the uh, uh, Unsung previous episodes. We already do the, uh, the, the, the uh, a premiere new episode on Unsung. We're going to do previous episode we never done. We already put the new episode uh, preview episodes on Unsung, but we're going to do uh previous episode and we never do it in, my, in this channel. So, you heard of them. You know them. You love them. Let's give it up. It's Fat, fat, fat boys. Fat boys are back. Man, let's talk about the fat boys. They're a legendary group. These guys, man, one thing they got to lo uh, they love the more comment about them. They love eating food, get chicks, and having fun. That's what they all about. And rest in peace to Big Buff, man. He will be missed. And uh, shout out to these guys right here. These guys, Mark D and I forgot uh, Price D, one of them. So let's talk about them. If I don't forget his name, I'm going to look it up because it's been so long talking about this group. Man, it's going to be a special uh, pre-previous -pre episode of us. Uh, so let's talk about the fat boys. Let's look it up. All right. People always wonder what happened to the fat boys. Why they've been gone so long. Well, let's see. The, let's find and find out. The Fat Boys. The Fat Boys are an American hip hop trio from Brooklyn. They're from Brooklyn, New York. Brooklyn, uh, 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 New York City. That integrated in the early 1980s. The group was broadly, broadly known the original as the Disco Three. They was called Disco Three until they changed. That their name was changed to Fat Boys. It was the name came from Curtis Blow. Curtis Blow discovered this group. They discovered him. And if you look at a Crush Group, you you know why he met he he saw them at the club and hear them performing, and they was winning the contest. It was actual true story, and they never they they lost the contest, and and, and Buff was kind of sad. And then Prince tried to check it out, see what's going on. No, Curtis Blow, I mean, try to see what's going on, and 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 he felt bad for him, so. He, he invited them to to able to get them out there, and I think he was signed with with, with they signed with Curtis Blow label or something. Curtis Blow discovered them. Without Curtis Blow, man, they wouldn't be out there. Period. So give it up to Curtis Blow, the Godfather of rap. No, the original king of rap, basically. Um, the originally kind of posted of Mark Prince Mark E D Mar Lee, Lee and. Uh, D, D, uh, D, Damon Kurowski. Kurowski, that's his name. My bad. His name is Kurowski, and that's Mark D. Not Prince. Is 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 K Rockski. That's his name. K Rockski. He used to be big. Now he's very muscle, very muscly. So for his music, for what he does, and we got to talk about the Fat Boys, man. We, we, we got to talk about the Fat Boys because it's important about this group. I was just checking on something. Okay. If y'all hear the music background, that's my um, my PlayStation 4, for, you know, intro sound. Because I was doing something. Okay. Let's get back to this. Prince, Marky D, Marlis, and Damon... David uh, 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 Cool Rocksky, Weatherly Lee, and Dean D D Run, Buff Love Robinson, rest in peace, who died of a, a heart attack during a, a bout with Rebels re uh, re uh, re uh, Reconsist Flu in 1995. Yeah, it was sad. It was sad, man. Rest in peace to Big Buff, man. I was seven when he passed away, man. It, it was just, it, it's pretty sad. 
it's pretty sad how he passed away, man. I have to be at least at seven. Or wait a minute, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I have to be at least about eight, eight or nine or something. No, I was leastly like seven. What are them? Because it's sad about Big Buff. He passed away. Rest in peace. Been so long. The trio is widely known for using beatbox in their songs. Yep, Big Buff was an actual beatboxer. I think he was the original beatbox sound before uh, Dougie Fresh. People think Dougie Fresh brought that, but it was really. Uh, Buff Love, uh, Dieterlin, Ron, uh, Buff Love, Robinson. He Buff Buff brought that out. Buff Buff out before uh, uh, Dougie Fresh ever came into the door. So let's give it up to Buff. The group was open doors for beatbox like Biz Marquee and Doug E. Fresh. The Fat Boys are the was one of the first rap group to release full editor of rap album along with Run DMC, Houdini, Curtis Blow, and beloved for their comic self defiantly rhymes, the group released seven studio albums, four of which went gold by the RIAA, which is stand for Recording Association a recording industry, industries, uh, 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 according, according, uh, um, industry association of America. If you don't know what R I A A, it's in Washington D.C. The group, the the the, I mean the the first two albums of the group are producing by the legend, legend legendary Curtis Blow. It was being produced. Not only he brought them out, but he produced their records. As they are successful dur during to the single, Chill House Rap, Can You Feel It? Yep, I like that song. Fat Boys, yep, Fat, Fat, Fat Boys, but my favorite is all time. <laughs> stick up, ha, 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 stick up, <laughs> stick up, ha, 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 stick up. Don't you dog me, don't you dog me, don't you dog me. <laughs> don't you doubt me hey girl hey 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 <laughs> that's a trip man i'm sure I miss big buff man it's sad he passed away it ain't the same it would have been a beautiful uh uh, uh a beautiful day when they had a reunion see them perform again that's what i but but it couldn't do it without that buff man it just two of them left it's brings back painful it's sad and i know mark and school rock ski i know they miss buff i know it's it's tough man it's a piece of big buff love man rest in peace all you can eat all you can eat i tell you they love food there's nothing to be shame about fat boys are back fat boys are back pump pump it up pump pump up pump up yeah i like that record and the videos to them the album Crush received a platinum uh, status during to their loud single Wipeout. Yeah, that's a good record too. Which was recorded together with the American rock group, the Beach Boys. The legendary group, the group, Beach Boys. So you know they paid them to do the sample of the record. The next record, Come Back Hard Again. Repeating the formula of the Reprimis won and received a gold status during to the successful single, The Twist. Do the twist, yo, do yo, the twist, yo, the twist. Ah, uh, that's great. And, and recording together with, with with American rock and roll singer Ch uh, uh, Chubby uh, Checker. Yep, Chubby Checker. I think. Let me see, Chubby Checker. I think he passed away. Chubby Checker. I think he passed away. Yeah, Chubby Checker died. Uh, no, no, he's still alive. No, he ain't died. He's still alive, man. Uh, my bad. He's still. I think he's still alive. Sh shout out to uh, Chubby Checker, man, because that was his song called "Do the Twist." That's a classic, classic Tom Thompson song. The album also refeatured the theme song for the movie "A Nightmare on Elm Street 4: The Dream Master," which featured Robert. Unlimitedly perform as Freddy Cougar. The group also started in three featured films in 1980s, the, thereby in the start of the popularity of hip hop in America. Crush Crew, one of my favorite greatest hip hop movies of all time, and, and uh, uh, the Knights of the City, 
I I never seen that. I I don't think I've seen that before. I might have. It been so long. I I don't know if I've seen it though. I probably had. It's been so long. I forgot what it's about. I probably had. It's been so long. It's, it's a long time for this. When they, when they was in movies, three movies they did, and this an order of it flat. This, this something like that. It was a movie I like about the fat boys called. The disorder lit, dis disorder lit, dis ornament. Uh, I forgot what it's about. They take care of this old man, and it says here, Winslow Lord Lee is a no good, in that gambler, and his nephew of elderly and the father of, of a millionaire. Yeah, yeah, his his nephew was no good, trying to take money from him, his own uncle, and Robert Davison. What wells uh, seek to spe 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 speed his uncle's recovered the uh, speak of his uncle and des despised by the by the higher of three of the most indirectly in order that he can possibly found the trio played by the fat boys mark buff and cool only mean well however and they're <laughs> good maturely and at the ticks, it actually <laughs> helped re, 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 utilize the out of the the out of the out of out of buff. They learned about Wilson's <laughs> scheme and tried to stop him. Yeah, and they tried to stop this, uh, uh, you know, his nephew because he was stealing money from his own uncle, and that was cold, man. So those are three movies they did: uh, Crush Group, the, the the Knights of the City. And the disorder and flee, flee, something like that. Can't pronounce it. All right. These are the members. Mark Mauga is also known as Prince Marky D. He's a Puerto Rican. Uh, Damon Webberly, also known as Cool Rock Ski, born November the 4th, 1966. Dean Wren uh, Robinson, also known as the Human Beatbox. <laughs> that, that, yep, that was, they did a song about that was based on that guy, their, their, their third member. And, and, and born June the 10th, 1967. December the 10th, 1995. It was sad he died, man. That was when Christmas was coming up. It was It was sad, man. It was sad he passed away. This is how they got discovered. A hip hop talent contest in 1983. A sweet born promotion named Charles Stofflin, the owner of his own label, Pin Tyler Pin Apple, declared to make a hip hop talent contest. To found a sponsor for the promotion went to WBLS Radio, radio station, which is uh, uh, covers of him to a couple of uh, uh, sponsors. In the end, he predicted the company Coca-Cola to finance a contest worth $300, $300 million. That's a lot of money for the next three months. The contests are hold to identify the winner in which barrels of the New York City every Saturday, every 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 uh, Saturday afternoon on May the 23, 1983, was hold the final of the contest entitled Coca-Cola and WBLS pr present the uh, the 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 top top a uh, uh, pan apple after dark dance and rap contest. It was declared to the organize a event at Radio City Music Hall. That's a legendary place. Now I think that's where MTV uh, uh, do their uh, 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 MTV Music Awards there. And this was the first event in the. In, in the history of the concert hall, which was attempted by black artists, the host that in the e evening was Mr. Magic, Mr. Magic himself, not the other Mr. Magic from New Orleans, rest in peace, 
the original Mr. Magic. This guy, he was born in New, the born born of the Bronx, New York City, and 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 and, 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 and he was born in born in uh, 15, 1956. Rest in peace, the original Mr. Magic from New York. Not the uh, Mr. Magic from New Orleans, but Mr. Magic in NY. Not in no, but NY. Died October the 2nd, 2009. Yeah, he's sad about his passing. Age 53. Bronx, New York City, New York. Hip hop, uh, Central Row, and DJ and turntables. And, and, and his career was active, uh, uh, years acting uh, 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 his career in 1979 to 2000, uh, 2000, uh, 2002. So he retired. Magic uh, uh, Profile, that's the label. Association, Molly Mall, and the Juice Crew. Yeah, he will be missed, man. He was a hip-hop radio DJ. He died of heart attack. Mr. Magic on the morning of October the 2nd. 2009 from a a heart attack he died of a heart attack so rest in peace the original mr magic from ny y'all think probably it's, it's in on i'm talking about mr Ma another mr magic from new orleans died of a car crash him and his wife rest in peace and i think it's his child that's not what i'm talking about it's a, another mr magic from new york city y'all know now to know the difference from the famous radio program Rap Attack at the time. According to the term of the contest, the winner signed a contract to a record deal. The Fat Boy members call themselves the Disco Three or unproductive winners. They basically I got it all wrong. In the movie they lost, but in reality of it, they won the contest. They won the contest in real life. In the movie, you think they really lost in, in, in actual times when they got started. Nope. They actually won the contest right here. It was a different contest. That was just a premiere of a movie just to 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 make it uh, the movie more interesting. That's not really happening, Fat Boys, and, and in real life. But in real life, they won the contest. The Fat Boy members called themselves the Disco 3 are a, a, unexpected winners. They won the contest with the song Stick Stick 'em. The same song that 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 won the contest, they recorded when they when they trying to get it to 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 get their music here out there to the world. European tour in 1983, the group released their debut single, Reality, under the name Disco 3. They wasn't called the Fat Boys yet. The single was produced by Jazzy, but uh, the, the the single was produced by Jazz Qatar and K K Key Borderless of Ron Alien, Ron Alien, a jazz funk uh, band. James Mason. Since the group did not have a manager, they didn't have a manager at the time. Charlie certainly. Uh, take under under the this position. Start 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 uh, start took the group to Europe bus tour, where he told them to gain more weight. The contest, <laughs> yeah. Uh, how you gonna tell this this group to gain more weight to to try to look their image? It's like you making fun of them or something. Cause because they named the fat boys, that doesn't mean that's they just because they're fat. They just talented. That's all. It ain't got nothing to do with the side of their weight. It's it's got something to do with the talent they bring to the world. That's just not right, man. The contest ends at twelve o'clock in the evening, and they did not get to the hotel until two o'clock in the morning. And, and and the only place like McDonald's and Burger King are open so they can gain weight but once so much was happening the group members did not even notice on the tour it did not consider themselves as fat yeah and it's like their their manager trying to be funny it's not right man he's basically he, he, he making fun of that he didn't think they're taking them seriously man once their manager offered them to call themselves fat boys on the Considerably of the rename of the group was host a party at the Roseland Ballroom in New York. That's when they met Curtis Blow. Curtis, met Curtis Blow. Charles Lurovely introduced the, the group to producer Curtis Blow, who gave them, the, them 
it is subtle they make the big sound to work on the album curtis blow recruited of drum machine and program of run d run uh, run the dmc larry smith and and and, and david lee dmx reads y'all probably think another dmx no this is the other dmx was is the is David Lee DMX, David Lee D, or David Lee DD? He's what you're called up. Uh, I think he's like what you're called. Uh, he's what you call musician, DJ, songwriter, and producer. He's a legendary producer. If y'all never heard, uh, David Lee uh, uh the D DMX or uh David Lee D. And his real name is David Frankly uh, uh, Rees Jr. Go look him up. He did the best features of, uh, you know, produce of these rap groups, the legendary uh, uh, artists that you know today of in, in, the, in the golden days of hip hop. That was the golden days. The Fat Boys, Curtis Blow, Spoonie G, and Jimmy Spice, J Jimmy Spice Lee, rest in peace. The original uh, hardcore of rap, the original hardcore. Rest in peace. To his name is J James Bartley uh, uh, Spice Spicey. He was the was was what you call hip hop recording artist who released a number of old uh, uh, school rap singles during the, the late 1970s and the er early 1980s. It, 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 it introduced classic dollar dollar bill, y'all. That was his phrase. He was used. He was the first one did that. People think it was Ice Cube and and, and, and and all the other artists. Nope, it was this guy. They got it from James Spicy. He was the one who brought it at, that, that phrase, the famous phrase you love and know, dollar dollar bill, y'all. And, and, they, and they thought Wu-Tang brought it out. Nope, it was this guy. They learned it from him, the founders of the phrase. For the which he was perhaps the best known, Spicy for the management by Russell Simmons, Russ. Go do your research. The the Afro and the F Furious Four in 1979. David begins to tour as the DJ for Curtis Blow, who was managed by Holland's native Russell Simmons, the godfather of of of, of the founding famous label. Def Jam, right along with Rick Rubin. Rick Rubin was the one who created the symbol of a record of a record player of a symbol what made Def Jam is now. It was originally from Rick Rubin. People thought it was Russell Simmons. I thought that but wasn't. It was originally Rick Rubin. Even though they was went to they was college together. They were team up like partnership. See Rick Rubin's the CEO and Russell's is like the vice president. Even though you would think it came from Russell Simmons. But Rick Rubin was the one who created the symbol of the signing of that. So Shout out to Russell Simmons and Rick Rubin. The, the, the digs with a blow, which David performed and through 1983, included the handcuffs of dates in September 1980 on a bill with the Commodores, Bob Marley at Square, uh, 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 at, at, at Manson Square Garden. Biggest the biggest of a performance of rappers that they the, 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 they they always have the biggest uh, stage live audience, but they said Madison Square Garden is the biggest one when you get your name when you when you perform in Madison Square Garden, you already know you made it when you did that you made it. <sighs> okay, careers as an artist, career as an artist in 1982, David played guitar and joined. Bassist Larry Smith and guitar and, and drum, drummer Trevor Guidley in a band called Orange Crush. Their first single, Action, featured a vocal by Adelie and Simpson Williams, was released at the same year as Sparkin' Be Be Beats Heavy produ Production Action was not. A hit, but it proved very influenced in 1983. Its base on a rhyme was re, 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 repurposed as the 
Crush Groove. No wonder why they got the name Crush Groove because it came from an actual record on the phrase. On on Run DMC, Sucker MCs. Crush Groove first. And again on Holland Cruise, Crush Groove 2, 1984. Lyrics and Joe, Crush Groove 3, 1985, Together Forever, Crush Groove 4. And 1985, as of 2016, a part of the action has been sampled at least 49 times, damn, including on the recording by Jay-Z, Kanye West, Common, and, 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 and the De La Soul, and T-Pain. I did not know that. The or or Orange Crush also provided the music for Love Bug Ski. Love Bug Star Ski. Yep. Love Bug Star Ski, man. You know, I think I heard of him. Love Bug Ski. Yeah, I heard of this dude. Rest in peace of Love Bug Ski, man. Yeah, I heard of him, man. He, he He's what you call a legendary... Um, I think he's a rap, American rapper, and the, and the musician, and the, and and, and record, recording producer. So rest in peace, uh, Love Buskarski. He was born May the 16th, 1960, the Bronx, New York City, New York. He died in February the 8th, 2018. Yeah, it, it's sad about his passing. Age 57, Las Vegas, Nevada, U.S. A rapper, DJ, and recording producer. His, in, in, in years acting in 1971 to 2018 and associated DJ Hollywood if you never heard of DJ Hollywood this dude was was the one they call him the godfather of of hip hop style because the reason why he was ones who throw throw your hands in the air and wave it like it just don't care and and want everybody to scream everybody say oh yeah if it wasn't for this guy you won't be hearing rappers say throw your hands in the air wave it like it just don't care for example it would have been ho Hollywood say if you feel good with the Hollywood Somebody say, yeah, this is what he said. Oh, yeah. And the crowd would chant it back. Oh, yeah. Some of his creation and other rappers has been using for the last 30 years much as throw your hands in the air and wave it like you just don't care. Everybody used that. Everybody used that if it wasn't for DJ Hollywood. Shout out to DJ Hollywood, man. He from Harlem. He born on December the 10th, 1954, age 65, 65 years old, a, 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 the golden age of hip-hop. Like my parents' years, they know much about this the guy and all the other hip-hoppers. I listened around hip-hop since later in 1988 and 89. And, and, and in 1987-86, 19, that was when I was born, when hip-hop was already out there to the world. But when in the 70s, that's when hip-hop was going to come out. And, and my parents and my sister didn't know much about this. The Harlem, New York. So he's a, he's a disco jockey and an MC. So rest of, uh, uh, sh I mean, shout out to DJ Hollywood, man. Shout out to DJ Hollywood. He is the guy who came up with that famous phrase that you love and hear all the time. All right. Okay. Okay. It's also provided music for Love Bug Arsky, You Got to Believe, in 1983. Yep. And it's crazy. David, David debuted as a solo artist late in 1983. Cut one for the Revo Fresh as David Lee DJ, I mean David, David, David uh, DMX for... Aaron Frank Aaron Frank Aaron Fuck Tough Tough City Records have used the art of the little DMX drum machine to make the beats for many of his pro production. He chose to call himself David Lee DMX, where it comes the time to record under his own name meaning he used the same beat machine and that's what he able to get the sound because of the beat machine dmx so that's how he got his name 
and and primarily a hip hop instrument. One for the trade tri- tri- uh, uh, tri- uh, was reviewed by Eric Skinner Marmick for the vo- the the Village Village Voice in May 1984, who written David found unusual sound and for the world to scratch against the beat like heavy pro- uh, 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 pro- uh, pro- progress the voice and the oh oh how my bad i read it wrong my bad my bad i apologize i'm sorry we do that some other time and when they do it pretty much as go. i'm sorry about that <laughs> i'm sorry about that i apologize i won't let that happen again okay stick'em was the first rap song they record with Curtis Blow. Yeah, that's what I was trying to get into. And 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 the group 1984 self-titled debut album Fat Boys is is, is is considered by many to be first hip-hop albums to feature as much as elements as beatbox. They're the ones who brought up beatbox. If it was for Buff Love, it wouldn't be Dougie Fresh. It would be Biz Marquis and so many. If it wasn't for Buff Love, he was the father of founding of the of the Human Beatbox. Cause they had a song called Human Beatbox, cause that was he was referred. Cause every time he made a beatbox, he make a, a disco beatbox and records and and and, and, and instrument instruments his mouth. They don't need no DJ. He was the DJ of his mouth to use the sound of. <laughs> Buff was the best. I like Dougie Fresh, but he ain't got nothing on Buff. Rest in peace. And and, and, and Dean run the human beatbox. Robert was a pioneer in the beatbox. He used his mouth to create the hip-hop rescustable sound. He and another rapper, Dougie E. Fresh. I'm D- the original Dougie himself. My Dougie. If it, if it wasn't for that Dougie Fresh dance that everybody's doing, it was came from this guy. The popularity of the beatbox and inspired by other artists to an edited rate, including Biz Marquis. That's another one. Now he rap, he beatbox as well. And so is Dougie Fresh, too. The Fresh uh, Fest Tour 84. One day in 1984, Russell Simmons and the storm into Starfleet's office and tell him that he was going to make a fresh Fest tour in 1984 festival in which it hits groups to break dance, uh, uh, break 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 uh, uh, dancers would take the part and since startledly of raising 300 300 million dollars from the Coca Cola to 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 finance his 1983 concert. Russell want the uh, 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 settle, settler to do it again, do it again, but the young promoter could not return to the beverage company, so he called his only Swiss friend and asked him if there was anything that Swiss are trying to sell. Wrist watch. And, 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 and Swiss could watch and turn it out to be much as a a, a product. A settler and predecessor over the company to the finance aid to tour of three hundred and sixty million dollars. While the festival has been renamed the Swiss's Wasses, the New York City Fresh and Fest. Russ, Russell Simmons did not want to take the Fat Boys on the tour because. Be, because nobody wants to hear them at that point. No, nobody wants to hear them at that point. Then suddenly want to a old t- t- Towers Records store on the Broadway and handing out 500, 500 flyers that read, guess the weight of, of the fat boys and the person who win hit 800, 800, 800, 800 cans of Diet Pepsi and one dollar. There before the hundreds of children lining up at the Tower Record Store. Settle put the group members on the scale. At the time, they were weighed 868. That's just wrong. He just used them, man. It's 
Ugh, just because they got the name Fab Boys, they they, they should have leave it to Disco Three. But instead, because the disco was was at end at that point, they they killed Disco. They killed Disco off. That's when Disco was dead, and that's when rap came in. But 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 people don't know in the seventies when when Disco first came out. When hip hop was came out the same time when disco was created, it was called disco rap at first. That's when uh uh rappers delight the first hip hop record. If it wasn't for uh Sylvia Robinson, the queen of hip hop at that time, and her and her husband, they were uh Pacific Islanders. They were were the ones who made hip hop for what it is today. If it wasn't for Sylvia Robinson, and they rest in peace. And and without her, hip hop would have never be at a day is born. You know what's really sad. You would think that Cardi B, Megan Thee Stallion, and all the rest of these females know who Sylvia Robinson is. Without Sylvia Robinson on her record label, it wouldn't be Missy Elliott, period. Even she had to be producer, start her own label. Sylvia Robinson was a singer. She, her and her husband were singers at the time. And, 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 and start their own stuff. Go look it up if you don't know who Sylvia Robinson is. 394 kg in the end. The boy from Harlem won the Channel 2 for its news film, the, the, the event on the camera, including how Pepsi Cola was was delivered to Harlem. Then Shuffle the Call, Russell Simmons, to show him much a group had added in his response. Russell told, Russell said that this just a local advocate. The next day, Sotomayor saw in the newspaper that Jackson 5 was going to be united at a concert in October 1984. So he called his wife and part-time partner and asked her to write a press release saying that the Jackson 5 had picked a unknown group, the Fat Boys, as their Open act. They they was tour with, with with Jackson Five. That's when they get when they trying to get their name out there. As a re, 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 as a re, as a result, Sutherland Sutherland uh, 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 himself to dispute this press a, a, a release across the city the next morning. Sutherland of the group with the Sutherland together with the group. I mean the Fat Boys got one. Got 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 on got on t t got on the the I mean what I'm trying to say, got on the t TV show Good Morning America, and when the hosts turned around to the Fat Boys, they didn't know what to say. They just go on, boo stick 'em ha 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 stick 'em stick 'em, because it was the group popular song at the time. It was that was their first song when it came as it came out, so. Russell Simmons agreed to add the, the Fat Boys to the lineup, which includes Run DMC, Curtis Blow, Houdini, and new, uh, 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 Newlyweds, and the Dunham of the uh, Breakers. The first concert of the tour take a, a place on Labor Day, September the 3rd, 1984. For 27th concert in the United States, the organized the managed to raise 3.5 million. The festival was uh, achieved by the advocate on the television in 1985. It was followed by Fresh Fest 2, which including the same acts with Grandmaster Flash and the Furious Five to replace new newlyweds. Y'all don't know who New Year's is. They the ones that did the song called Wiki 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 Wiki. My my mother grew up in that time with that kind of record, and I learned it later when it's was when it's when it's been out there, and it was released in the in the in the seventies, no early eighties, and that was a classic record. And jump on it. That's another song. That's a classic too. Appeared in t television and movies at the time. The American office of the company. The Swiss, Swiss Swiss watch was at was was tasked with the trying to advocate their product to American uh, audience. The company was known for using the offbeat ca uh, campaign and agreed to feature the Fat Boys in a commercial for the watching on 
on MT MTV. The video Bruce uh, uh, Swatch and Stickum was aired in December 1984. Swatch uh, Swatch again featured the Fat Boys in 1985. Christmas and Addison said uh, created by the former MTV creator head Addison uh, Goodman and Fred Sample the Bird. Did this commercial Swiss uh, uh, Swatches presents a Christmas, uh, uh, a Merry Christmas, uh, 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 Swiss Swiss presents a Merry Christmas was first pro uh, uh, broadcast in December 1985. Those commercials are notable because when they aired in December of 1984, MTV did not feature many hip hop artists in their pro uh, program because at that time it was a rock station. It was a lot of integration there at that time. See, if it wasn't for Michael Jack or, uh break the barrier to get Brother Sister on MTV, but some of the other rap, some of the other b uh, black artists had to create their own uh, music uh, 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 programs to get their music heard from black artists, because they only for, for fe feature of white artists only MTV. MTV only played nothing but white artists at that time playing rock and roll, and and what's really sad that it was a black woman video promoter I, it was sad that th this is a black one i thought it was a white woman or a white man and come to find out it was a black woman did not want to play michael jackson thriller that was sad how can you do that to your own foe because you know how to get a chance when you try to get on but you can't get the brother sisters on you know that's not right you know that's not right but rest in peace to michael jackson if it wasn't for michael break the music barrier it, it wouldn't be nothing nothing and they owe it to that man he did that Having only start, start, start starting and airing music videos from rap artists in early that year with Run DMC crossover hit Rock Box during to the success of the those commercials, they would become the uh, request uh, request of a guest on MTV Pioneers, a space for hip hop groups to appear on the network. Ultimately, increasing hip hop popularity and legal Mary with MTV audience. Because of those commercials, the group developed a reputation for the sense of humor. They started. They started started in several feature films. Their first starting roles came in the movie Crush Group. That was their first movie in 1984. I mean, 1985. I mean, following by a second this this in this in order there went this in order meant in 1987. That that's my favorite movie. I was a little kid. I liked that movie. I love it ever since. Which also featured Rudolph 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 Bell 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 me as a millionaire. Fed up with good, of care for by his good uh, 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 nature, yet in front of the an ornament and uh, or, or the play by the Fat Boys with a cameo by the ma manage uh, 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 settling, making crush and come back harder again. All right, the hopping. I mean, ho ho hopping to replace the success, uh, successful success of Run DMC and Aerosmith with the single "Walk This Way." The Fat Boys made a cover version of the song. Yep, "Wipe Out," together with the rock group the Beach Boys. They did the same form of what they do to Run DMC, do a song with Aerosmith to do the Fat Boys and the Beach Boys. The it, it didn't work very well, though. It ain't work very well. Not really. The single appeared at the number 12 on the Billboard Hot 100 and the number 10 on the Hot R&B and Hip Hop song. The song Wipeout reached number 2 on UK Top, Top 100 in September 1987 during a 13-week chart run 
Wipeout was the last song the group members record for the album Crush. Yeah, that was, that was the last song they ever done it together. But it was she had, I mean, it, but it was she who helped the album reach a platinum status in the United States. Yeah, it was done well, but, you know, but it wasn't top bigger than the other one. White Bow was all right. It was okay, but not like Walk Away, because that was a big record. The the music video uh, uh, begins with a pronouncement of a beat. Uh, uh, the the music uh, 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 the music video begins with a pronounce of a boxing match. The Fat Boys and the Beach Boys are tempted the match. The match is erupted by a fight. In the following scene, the Fat Boys loaded up a car <laughs> with swimsuits. Yeah, that was funny. And and then drove off. The Beach Boys are drive in a Dudley and badly of through the city both 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 bands go around the city in the direction of a beach where they perform the song and and, and elevate the enhancement of the city to come to the beach meanwhile at the beach one of the fat boys trying to uh, to 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 lift a heavy weight and is laughing by laughing at by the two women because of the uh, of the failure another play uh, <laughs> play play uh, volleyball and another surf the beach boys on the other hand are dj in the streets in the course of the video all celebrate a beach party yeah it was funny it was funny though the group was later appeared to the to 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 record the theme song for a nightmare on elm street for the dream master in 1988 called are you ready to are you ready for are you ready for freddy it was all right it was okay i wasn't crazy about the record it was all right which uh, featured robert inglis lillian perform as freddy <laughs> the next album called come back hard again Repeating the the formula of the premier of, of, of the premise of one, I mean, this time the Fat Boys record a cover version of the song, "The Twist," with Chubby Checka, who performed it original originally in 1960. The single peep at number 16 on the on on the Billboard Hot 100, and number 40 on the Hot R&B hip hop song. The song the the twist, yo twist, reach number two on on UK top hundred in July nineteen eighty eight. During an eleven weeks eleven a uh, weeks chart run. Another song from the album Larry Larry is a cover of a 1957, 1957 song by American singer Richard Berry. The song peeped at the number 46 on the UK Top 100 on November the 5th, 1988 for, 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 for four weeks they did the same thing. Larry Larry is like Mary Mary. Can you tell the difference? And it's probably the same producer on top of that, or they manager, one of them. The breakup. However, the taste of the listeners at the, the time have already changed by taking the part in the rush of rap, uh, uh, rap, rap uh, uh, opera. On and on, the group trying to regain its fame. But this only accepted the breakup of the group. Prince Marky D left the group to pursue solo interest yep which in, includes produce m many early tracks for Mar mariah carey he, he was do he was doing producing mariah carey mary j Bly, which include her debut single real love i'm searching for a real love mark uh uh, Mar uh prince mark d the puerto rican guy he 
produced that song, Real Love, in 1991. The rem remains, the two members, Cool Rocksky and uh, Buff Love, carry on as a duo and release <laughs> Mac, Mac, D Mac Daddy. It didn't do well. Trust me, it did not do well. In 1991, but shortly in, in thereafter, the group disbanded until 2008 in the 1992 feature film Bo 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 Boomerang. Chris Rock character launched with uh, the breakup of the Fat Boys. He was later quoted by Jay-Z in his 2001 song, The Heart of the City, Ain't No Love. Yep, he did say that in the one of the uh, tracks. After aftermath on October the 10th, 1995, tragic begins. Buff Love died of a heart attack during a about with Redos Love of Flu in Rose Adali, Queens, New York. He was 28 years old and reportedly weighed. 450 pounds. It's it's sad. It's at 400 400 pounds. 200 and kg. The survivors members of the Fat Boys launching its first official homepage, the original Fatboys.com, on October the 5th, 2008. According to the website, the Fat Boys recorded its first track, Fat Boys United. In nearly two de two, 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 two decades, yeah, that was that was uh, their early records before they began. People think Butter was Stickum, but their first track was Fat Boys United, and 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 in in nearly two de decades, and have a plans of doing a reality TV show. No, not another reality TV show. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm glad they didn't do that because everybody's doing that. Ever since Flavor Flav, it, it went to a flop because it was done by better success, but it's unsuccessful. In the searching of a, a new member in March 2009, Cool Rocksky announced their launching of his official website, CoolRocksky.com. His first solo project, the EP Party Time, was released in, on October 14, 2009. On, I mean, April, my bad. His first solo project in the EP Party Time was released on April the 14, 2009. On October, October the 18, 2010, because I was lost track there while I was trying to read in it. The... The, the cable network TV One air unsung the story of the Fat Boys. It's pronounced. It's 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 mentioned that the two survivor members reunited and are toured with Dougie E Fresh. Yep, they reunited. Who are providing the beatbox? There has been no confirmation as to. However, he is the third member. Primitive of uh, 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 so it says here there have been no confirmation as to however he is the third member printed uh, 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 it, it says here there's has been no conf there's there's has been no confirm as to however he is the third uh, he is a new third printed member i mean this was produced by the group uh, uh, management. Th this group was produced by the. This this was produced by the group's ma manager, Larry, C C uh, L L Lewis Lewis Gregory. I mean Lewis Gregory, publicly known as Uncle Louie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I heard I heard of him though, and that and that lady too, his wife. In in August 2012. The Fat Boys are scheduled to perform at the 13th uh, amount of, of gather of the Juggalos in the cave in the rocks, Illinois. But 
but but but ultimately failed to appear. Prince Mark D is a is is a a a a courtesy courtesy radio host for W E D R ninety nine jams in Miami, Florida. We working week. We 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 uh, 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 working uh, weekends. Cool Rockski reside in New York. So the 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 CD uh, geography. This is CD geography. Okay, the Fat Boys released on May the twenty uh, twenty nine, nineteen eighty four. Gold. The Fat Boys are back. Release. June 1st, 1985, Gold, Big and Beautiful, Release, May the 2nd, 1986, it didn't win anywhere, so those are labels, Silva, 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 Crush, Release, August the 14th, 1987, the label, Temp, uh, 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 Temp, 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 uh, uh, Pan uh, Apple and Product and Grant Platinum come back hard again. Release July the f- first, nineteen eighty eight. The same label to the other one, Gold. On and on. Release October nineteen eighty nine, nineteen eighty nine. It didn't it didn't go as far as should. And they was in uh, Mercury and all that, and the other same other labels, and uh, and then Mac, uh, Mac Daddy released October twenty eighth, nineteen ninety one. Empire, I mean, and, and the label Emperor. So these are the songs: nineteen eighty four, Fat Boys, and Human Beatbox, Jail House Rap. Can you feel it? Nineteen eighty five, the Fat Boys are back. Hardcore reggae, don't be stupid. 1986, Sex Machine in the house. 1987, falling in love, wipe out the twist. You know, in 1988, are you ready for Freddie? Louie Louie. 1989, Lie Z, just luncheon. So. And these are the movies they did. 1985, Crush Group, October 25, 1985. 1986, Night of the City, February the 14, 1986. And 1987, this order, this this order, this order meant August the 14th, 1987. 1987. So those are documented where they at now. Preben controlled the history of the Human Bee Box and Tribute Film Festival in 2002, May 9, 2002. 2010. I mean, 2000, 2010. Unsung, The Story of the Fat Boys by TV1, October 18, 2010. 2010. Never Sleep Again, the Elmer's Street Legacy DVD, May 4th, 2010. The video compilation, 1986. Blue Watch 'em, MCA Home Video, and 1988. Three Exit Three, Prodigal Pro- 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 Graham Music Video. So, what's really sad about the Fat Boys, man? They had a great, huge, and huge success of their life. But what's really sad about their tragic of uh, Buff Love, man. Rest in peace to Buff Love. And shout out to Mark, uh, uh, Prince Mark uh, D and Cool Rock Ski. Shout out to them, man. They're doing well, doing okay. And, and it's good you were tonight. And they got Dougie Fresh to replace uh, uh, Buff, uh, uh, Buff Love. Because without Buff Love, it wouldn't be Biz Marquise. It wouldn't be... Um, Doug, Dougie Fresh and, and so so much more, man. So let's pay respect of their legacy, the original Disco 3, 
and and, and the, 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 that's the original name, the Disco Three, and also became a, a, a original the Fat Boys. So let's show love for this group, man. And their music will live on for many generations, many years to come. And that's all I gotta say about that. It's your boy Domination. This is back of the basic. Chugga the deuces out to text, baby. Until next time. All right. All right. Peace them out. On uh, next week, we're gonna continue to talk about um uh you'll see on next Sunday. I'm not gonna tell you, but you'll see. So I'll see y'all then. It's your boy Domination, this is back of the base. Chugga the deuces out to text, baby. Until next time. All right. All right. Peace them out. All right. Peace. <laughs>